Lisa Hughes is at the marathon finish line. And Lisa, it's the 126th running, but we're also celebrating a history making anniversary. Yes, Paula, the Boston Marathon is the oldest continuously run marathon in the world. But this year, we also celebrate the 50th anniversary of the first official women's field. Eight women started the race in 1972. All eight crossed the finish line and ran right into the history books. And I talked with some of the fastest runners in this year's field who tell me those eight women changed the sport of running forever. We owe them a huge debt, and hopefully all the women that are competing now, like we keep carrying the torch for you know the women that come behind us. They just set examples for, for all the women moving forward, and I think not enough women know about them, but I think it's something where you know it's going to affect one one woman here, and then she's going to do something and then affect what. So I think it's like a little riptide effect, but I wish it was more vocalized, and I wish they were, they were more well known. It's so normal now, right, to, to think about it. There's a men's race and there's a women's race, and everyone, you know, there's a lot of men who get beat by women. To think that it took, you know, a few women with the, the courage to just say, hey, this is the way it should be. To us, it's, it's just, yeah, it's so normalized at this point that there's a men's and a women's race to, to think that there's, there could be anything else is kind of crazy. I mean, I would imagine kids today just perceive it as this is what it's always been. Um, you know, equal people on the elite field starts, equal pay for the prize money, and so on and so forth. But uh, you have to look at that history and know where it came from and just, you know, gratitude to those folks who were really brave in the beginning. What we are doing now is all because of what those eight women did. And we're standing on their shoulders as we go forward with this. And I think it's really cool to appreciate, like, just what this has all become. And here's another way of appreciating it, a visual representation of the 50th anniversary celebration. Throughout the weekend, artists will be working on a special mural in Copley Square Park, right across the street from the Boston Fan Fest stage. And the women from that 50th anniversary team are going to be speaking at Fan Fest on Sunday afternoon. One of them, Val Rogoszewski, is actually going to be running this year's race. 